Look, she's shredding it. Rara, <laughs> surf it. No, he's not. Yes, she is. She's only one years old and she's already surfing. Oop, she's out. Alright, so today we're gonna do a yard sale. It's like 8 a.m. around. And I'm thinking the yard sale starts around 10. So I'm gonna try and surf first. And this is something I haven't tried in years. I'm gonna put a GoPro here. Put that one there, and then this is the safety thing. If somehow this falls off, this will catch the GoPro. So, I don't know about the weight distribution of all this on the board, but we're gonna try it. So let's do it. I won't lie in this world, man, you need school. What you saw is what you reap. The price of even making it, you know it's not cheap. Never mind the lights, you can sacrifice sleep. Put your best out there, see results in a week. Preach. I don't think they know. Alright, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful day in literally paradise. So, I am setting up for our yard sale. Um, Turner went surfing. I kind of hope he comes back soon because this might sound weird, but I get a little bit nervous doing these types of things by myself only because I feel like sometimes people can be a little bit weird with women, um, like try and get one over on you, and I can be a pushover sometimes. And we're trying to get this stuff out, so I don't want to sell anything for sell anything short if that makes any sense like too cheap because uh we're trying to get what it's worth you know what i'm claiming so still have some of these items are a little bit big for me to take out i might just leave some of them in here like this is so much heavier than it looks um i want to bring these little items out and then i guess all these shades because yeah people want to see them but we're gonna allow people to come in here. I'm just I just wanna try and organize it a little bit nicely so they don't have to like shovel through crap. So those are gonna be for CL2 even though it has a rip, but some people might not care. Floridians, you guys hear MJ crying in there. <laughs> this ooh this I guess I'm just gonna keep this in here, but I'm gonna pull it out a little bit more so people can see it. I gotta grab that and then we have a couple of things inside that we were posting online, but I'm going to bring them out here too and put them up for sale, even though they're on sale online, but we could just take them down, so this is what it is, and we still have this gazebo, unfortunately we don't have the bolts for it, there's a little lizard, you guys see him, bobbing his head, what's up little dude, running, so the lizard's like that, that crap all over the place, I see. There's another one over here. Hello. A little itty bitty, Sam. Love lizards. So, that's what I'm doing. And the tile's just gonna stay where it's at, obviously. Oh, yeah. Just waiting for him to get back from surfing. But I'll just continue doing what I'm doing. Pretty good. South if you say so. Who's that up the 
beat your that sheep. That was pretty good, actually. Good. That was a decent wave. Oh man, I'm tired. Now let's go do this yard sale. I hope it's not too late. I don't know how long I've been out here, but I was waiting for a wave for like an hour. But hopefully, Sam is not getting All right, definitely gonna reconfigure the setup because um, I could t tell from the footage that it cut off like my head in the video and also the string, the safety string that's on there attached to the other mount actually was going across the screen a little bit. So I had to like tie that back and then reposition the GoPro, tilted probably up a little bit more towards me but learning as we go i haven't filmed surfing with a gopro or anything really in a long time we'll see trial and error probably another session tomorrow probably not today so back at the house let's see oh what look at this sammy's got it all set up <laughs> that was insane. Did you catch some waves though? Yeah, for cool. that whole time. I caught one right in the beginning. And I don't know how long that was, but I waited that whole time to get one more. Woof! All right, massive yard sale going down. I'm gonna bring out these four pallets. Probably not the big one, but most of this stuff on it, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Make that into a table, right? Where you getting? Where you getting nervous? I was never coming back. Uh huh. I wasn't. You know, I was out there for so long. I felt like I wasn't. And like the waves were breaking so far that like the one guy was like even like 30 m oh, miles. Yeah. And then I was like, should I go out further, or am I just gonna fully get caught in a riptide and no one know I even died? I gotta get the other fan. Do you wanna? Is there any? Is that one thing? Are you? Keeping Say hello to my little friend, aka this amazing tool that we got with the palitos. So here's what we're gonna do. Sammy made these nice yard sale signs. Well, tile sale sign here. And then I'm gonna put the yard sale up there. Now then. What's going on? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Coming through? Yeah. How are you? Excellent, man. Air pound. Matthew. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you, dude. Nice to meet you. How are you liking Florida so far? Love it. Love it. Always did. This is a great little spot on the beach here. Is that one of those hats you scored? Uh, yeah, one of them. One of the 200? What's it say? One of the 200. Uh, I think it's some sort of building supply company. Oh, yeah. I just sold uh, two of those cat hats. For, on eBay, right? For like 40, 50 bucks each, right? 170 each. What? Yeah. How much? Like such 170. A huge 170? No way. It's yeah. insane. Have you been before? Spear fishing? 
No. I tried it before, but I, I don't know. In New Jersey, it's probably not the same. Okay. All right, we got this guy just showed up, taking a peek at the the claims. So defeated. Have you been here lately? Oh yeah. How's it? How's it getting into that? Really? Yeah, we got about 30 pounds of flounder, but uh, probably 200 pounds of sheep. Really? Yeah. How's it getting into the state park? Are they, is there a line getting in, or are they kind of? Ah, uh, we didn't go to the state park. Oh, you didn't put like no. a boat in there? No. Oh. Uh, we we put it in like Grant or a little bit past, and then oh. we work, work work the shore down. Yeah, I'm up top, man. I'm trying to get up there to launch a boat. It's like I don't want to drive all the way out there. It's, um, had to sit there for two hours. We're only allowing so many people. Right, right. It was closed though, huh? Oh yeah, they closed it down. Even that, that island that's north of there, they closed that down and so I'm fishing there too. Uh, Is it because it was like a state park? Is that why they closed yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the local boat ramp stayed open the whole time. Yeah, they stayed. Yeah, it was just the state park that's closed down. Yeah, yeah I'm, pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're open back up. I may have to get down there maybe yeah, this week and maybe tomorrow. We can be horrible. You have to get there first thing in the daybreak. Even then. Every single boat ramp around here. There's yeah. been just a line. Yeah. That sounds good though. I'm glad to hear that flounder is still there. Oh yeah, they're, they're back. They yeah. never really left. Really? Yeah. What are you can I ask what you're using? Spear? Spear. Spear? Spear? Oh, Spear. Good. Really? Underwater? Or are you just, just from top? Yep. Just well, we, we get in the water. Oh, okay. Walk around. Really? And, yeah, they're usually like knee high. And then we get up to maybe like, maybe midways working the docks. We walk the docks out and pick all the sheep off of it. Really? And, and if you see a flounder. Wow. It'd be better to, you know, troll around. But yeah. Yeah, I was trying to. I've been there a couple of times and I just can't seem to find one. Then my motor went to hell and finally had to go out and buy me a new 15 horse Johnson or a new 15 horse Yamaha electric start, which is nice. It's, I got like 11 hours on it so far. And I'm just feeling the break in period. I got tired of it. I had an old Johnson that's been around for a while and it just, I said, screw it. I'm going new. Yeah, I need to fish for the fish. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't nothing like she did. I'm everything. I even got desperate and went to a trip for his dog. The salmon hit. Oh, yeah. And I put salt and brown sugar, little brown sugar, and cayenne pepper. And let it, and let it sit like 15 hours. Put it in the smoker. Three pups. Yeah. The first salmon hit. The only bad thing kind of pissed me off, he took the collars off. Of him. So yeah. there wasn't a whole hell of a lot there. As long as them cheeks are there. Oh, yeah. And it's good. One of the best parts of that whole damn salmon head was the bottom jaw muscles. Yeah. It's, it was like butter. I mean, it just fell apart. It's smoky, flavored. Oh, that was a good. Uh, no, we usually just work the boss. Really? Yeah, much? Really? I mean, a, a good night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Long hours, but. Yeah. Something else that you don't like to do. Sure does. You know? That's for sure. Yeah. Well, I think I'm gonna take both of these. Okay. I got a lot more. I got shit. I gotta keep it separated. Is, is this your company, the air conditioning? No, no, I just work for them. Do you side? Yeah, I try not to, but I do. Not. You got stuff here to need something done, or you got? Well, our AC here is totally broken, but I, I have no idea what's wrong with it. How old is it? Is it real old? Yeah. yeah. What it's happens? like probably the age of this house. Oh, is it really? <laughs> I don't know for sure, but yeah, it's crazy. I guarantee you it's not even worth looking at probably. It's probably rotted out. The other guy actually said it's not worth fixing. Yeah. And he filled the Freon last time and then it worked for a while. Then it leaks all out. Yep. And then it just, he was like, don't even bother. But I was at a fellow just down the road about five miles down here and uh, did the same thing. The whole compressor on the bottom was just ride it out, it's Yeah. It's just, all the free out leaks out, the oil leaks out. And, and it's just done. Yeah. I it, think it, maybe that's probably time for a new... Uh, yeah, it's time for a, an upgrade. Yep. 
taking those two? Yeah, I'll take All right, cool. Thank you. What's uh, that rain gutter deal thing? Uh, it goes, what, you want that too? Yeah, I was thinking about it because I got some spots where the damn dog's been laying and I need to get that water away from the I mean, what's there. it What's it worth to you? I don't even know. I have. I got to go get some. I haven't even had a chance to price Just something like five that bucks. Five bucks. Five? Yeah. Yeah, shit, why not? I mean, everything here is pretty much like somewhat new and like half the price, if not less, than yeah. Lowe's. So yeah, yeah. That's kind of how we're doing it. I hear you. Can't beat that. What's it worth? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, though, at the flea market, I'm thinking of price in my head, and then I'm like, what's it worth to you? And they say higher, so. Yeah. I, I, I just knew I had to get some, because I got an old 17-year-old dog that's laying in mud and shit. I just yeah. got to get out. He, I actually, well, we're originally from New Jersey, and right. my house there, I got to do something like that, because yeah. it all floods underneath. Yep. All, all right, floods. hey, appreciate it, bud. All right, man. Have a good one, dude. No, it's not 4K. It's just 1080. It's so, it looks pretty good. It's actually good for video and pictures, basically. But she has a um, the Canon R, which is a mirrorless one, full frame. It's better than this, but. Oh, yeah. What's going on, though, man? I'm just living this yard sale. Living the dream? Yeah. Just an all client stuff? Shirt off What's up? Is it all like house stuff? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Mostly everything's from Lowe's. Yeah, my dad's going to a lot of that stuff. Thank you. Yeah, hit him up. We'll be here all day. So you're selling everything, man? Like everything, everything? Mostly everything. Not that specifically, but all the tiles for sale and everything in the and the everything. Yeah. The mower, all that. Yeah. The mower doesn't work though, right? <laughs> uh, well, how much are you looking for? I'm just a so it goes on. It's ele it's electric though. Yeah. It goes on and the blade just doesn't spin. I don't know. But make an offer on it if you think you can fix it. Yeah, yeah, you can look at it. It's uh, a little treasure hunt, you say, absolutely. huh? Absolutely. Sometimes you do find treasure at the flea market, absolutely, though. Absolutely, bro. Even at, at yours? I mean, you can't beat it. Like, most of this shit's borderline brand new. So yeah, like, it looks like it, definitely. I, um, especially down here, bro, there's a lot of money down here, man. I drive down Riverside, I picked up a flat screen, like a 52-inch flat screen. And it worked? Nothing wrong with it. Off the street, huh? The people throwing it away because they got a bigger one, I guess. <laughs> I want to find that store. Yeah, uh, no, that's just uh, the TV we got to flat screen. It's not the greatest, but we got it from a house we cleaned out. So yeah, same idea. Yeah, man. Actually, it's missing the stand, but I'll hang it on the wall. You know what I mean? Not uh, yeah, for sure. And you can buy the stand if you oh, want, dude. Yeah. People are yeah, just a lot of money down here. <laughs> what part of uh, Jersey y'all live in? Atlantic City, basically. Oh, okay. I lived with well, Dewey Beach, man, for after yeah. my dad owned a restaurant over there. I used to go over there and gamble, take the Cape May Lewis Ferry. We're about, we've been on that before, yeah. But we're about five miles, six miles from AC. Yeah. We don't live in Atlantic City, but. How's that now? I mean, there was a shithole right there what Atlantic City was at that point in time when I was up well, there. We live in Ocean, in uh, Ocean. Summers Point, which is next to Ocean City. So nicer. It's nice there, but yeah, if you go to Pleasantville, Atlantic City, it's it's pretty bad. It's crazy. Like, they put all the, even like, you know, stadiums and shit. I guess it's the tax value that they get out of. Now it's going to be real uh, real crazy was waiting to see what's going to happen because the casinos are closed for like three months. Are they still closed up? Yeah. Wow. And they were already all totally bankrupt, so. Yeah. I don't know what. Beforehand, what, right? Yeah. You don't have any, um, I don't know, do you have a, uh, like a Dremel or, any, or anything of that nature? I don't think so. Okay. What's up with the camera? That's not for sale. It's just for us to use. Gotcha. Definitely want this. How much for the little blower? Any idea? I never even tried to use it. I got a little boy, so I can't take. I got a bear on side of caution, you know? <laughs> we do too. Just for, for the. He's claiming 5G. I don't know. 
Maybe. Doubtful though. But. All right, Sammy J with the best idea ever. This guy's buying all this and the mower. Got Bundle boys, deal. Out, boys. Got and half out. of it doesn't even work. And he doesn't even care because he's just going to fix it. Yep. So. Those are, that's a lot of items to get out of here, you know? So really, it's been hard. But we put this table here and try to stand behind it when people are here. So that they don't. The guy was trying to shake my hand, but I had to say, I can't do it, sorry. But uh, trying to be as safe as possible. At least we're out in the sunlight and they're not really touching us or coming more than like 10 feet from us, thankfully. But uh, yeah, so far a success. Second customer of the day and they're bundling it up. going on? Alright, got another customer out here. Say so this is the fifth customer. Two bought a lot. And then the others just came to browse, but slowly but surely making sales here. And the one guy bought a lot, so 10 customers like him, you're looking at, you know, selling a good amount of stuff. But probably won't be 10 customers like him, but at least there is one. If you know Florida heat and you've lived here with no AC, you know this feeling right here. It's the... It's the screw you, I'm chilling feel. Just moving his ear causes him to. Give me those lips, boy. Give me the kisses. I know I abuse my cats with kisses, but sometimes you just can't resist. You gotta just get in there. Get the kisses right on the lips. How do you get that body, boy? How do you resist that? Look at that belly. We had this boy for like six months, and he was a little belly. skinny man. Yeah, yeah, if any of you watched those old videos of when we first got Boogie, he was like mad with Mark Marish. Now is he? Nah, he's that homegrown boy now. You homegrown. He said, we, yeah, he said, we eating good tonight. We eat good every night. That's what he says. Uh, just two bucks for that. Let me go inside and get it. Hello. Yeah. It was hot earlier this morning, too. Oh. It's brutal. Eighteen. Thank, Thank you very much. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. Run you out of your chain. No worries, dude. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. That's the dent, I guess. All right. Is why I got liquidated. Right. Because this was all liquidation merchandise. Sure. But uh, I think everything else is is good. I, I don't know for sure. I didn't test it, obviously. But. Right. But I think at the store it's like 390. Right. Yeah. My dad look at it. He's got one too. What are these things for? Yeah. yeah. It's not like broiling. Like this. Yeah, I mean, if you have any problems, just message me. I, 
never used it, so gotcha. I can't tell you for sure. Thank you, though. Yeah, yeah you two youngsters got to put it in front. <laughs> I got you. You think that's going back seat then? It's pretty heavy, too. Yeah. They just bought the smoker, so one of the biggest items for the most cash we sold so far. Cha-ching! Stoked! Woo. Big yard sale day. Big yard sale day, and it's so hot. Alright, she's biting on the toilet seat, maybe. Let's see if she wants it. Eight bucks for that. It should. There's three different ones, so if you want to open it, I mean, I don't know if that's ever been opened. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's just the, just the, the other back. signs. Yeah. Right he got the trash can. He's coming back for the vacuum later. He's got to get cash. No, so this one. You can just take those if you want them. Nah. Not even worth it, right? No, sir. Thank you. Count that, man. I got it. What a really raw is that? What, fish and stuff? Yeah. Nothing here. Nothing? Nah. Oh, okay. Maybe other sales today, though. I don't know. Yeah. There's another hole? Yeah, there's actually... We open them up. other hoses right there. Five each. Uh, yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. Quick connect. I never even saw it. No. Quick connect for, uh... Oh shit, yeah, that's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it is. I ain't never seen one like it. Made by Linux. That's a good one. Yeah, they're not bad. There's actually is some safety glasses on there, too. Damn, that's my last two. These ain't bad. Nice. Them like the old blue blockers they used to No, sell. yeah, for sure. I love those blue blockers, though, to be honest. I had a couple of pairs of those over here. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> They're good. It's coming, coming to get you guys. Yeah. They looking for him. All right, we sold the canopy. And he's coming back tomorrow to get it because he only put 20 down payment on it. But they bought two hoses, another tool, something else, something else. He's asking you if you needed a side job. He pretty much asked me if I wanted a job. So you could get hired and make some sales. Look at this crew though. The one guy was eating a chicken wing and drinking a Coors Light. He had a Coors Light in his hand. And eating Dying chicken. I saw that. <laughs> they know how to live. So we had most of our customers came early. Didn't expect that. So I forgot I have this on, so I don't have to like yell at you guys. So what did we even sell? We sold a lot of stuff. Got rid of the lawnmower, a leaf blower, a, a shock shop vac, like a mini one. Some other stuff, 
And some of the things didn't work, but the guy still bought them. Today he's gonna fix them, so that was cool. And then we sold that big grill that was inside of the garage. That was our like biggest item besides the gazebo. That's right here. Useless gazebo that doesn't have bolts. Lois says they don't have the bolts. What is their product? But it's okay. So. I get the bolts, but she means. Oh. Guys, literally, it's so hot. So hot. But all right, so we tried to price everything by like obviously half of what it's worth plus taking a few dollars off if it's missing a piece or if it's dented or uh, et cetera. So we have this, that's not priced though. But these are all pretty good prices. This mailbox, 50 bucks for that nice mailbox, like what? And then the guy was interested in these two fans Told him 80 for one. If you wanted both of them, just do 100. But he wasn't into that. Somebody will be though. We have various items right here. I'm honestly surprised nobody's interested in that. But like, I feel like those types of items, like the light fixtures, are for a specific person. Because I'm just gonna go to a yard sale and buy a light fixture. A sure an impulse buyer. I like those impulse buyers. Exactly. I should have just you put just contractor sale. Got our sink. But also, I checked the weather and it's not going to rain for the next like four days, supposedly. So, what we're going to try and do is just leave this stuff out here. Maybe bring in some of the more valuable stuff. But if it doesn't rain, there's no problem with keeping it out. I don't think anybody's just going to walk up here and steal any of this stuff. But don't hold me to that. And the sun beating on me is not cool. So, what else do we have? Still have our tile, all of our tile. There was shingles in the back. They, that's what I'm saying, like they were in the backyard. They were left here and we brought them out here to sell. So, hopefully somebody bites on that. It's not gonna rain. I say like a lot, I apologize guys, that's brutal. But like, so we still have our tile. But what I was saying was, I checked the weather and it's not supposed to rain for the next four days. So we're just gonna keep this stuff out here. I thought today was set, we both thought. So we're just gonna keep this running. See if we could just blow it out, just have a blowout sale because we're trying to get rid of it. These things just kind of suck. That is kind of sucky because this would be really nice, but it doesn't have... Unless somebody has that same shelf and all the pieces that are missing. It doesn't have these pieces Think about it, to hold it together. I guess it's just one yeah, long bar. Yeah, but that bought all the stuff said he's coming back tomorrow for another load. So like... True, and smart people who, you know, buy from sales like this often will know that you can call those places and get the missing pieces sometimes. Sometimes you can't, it's hit or miss, but and why not try this? If, if you had one broken shelf, like think about it. If you get this for the right price, it's fully worth making that little phone call, depending on what you're using it for, if it's that important. This monster, it's monstrosity. Put it together. Or just post it on Facebook, that's a Facebook sale. For sure, and then we have shades right here. Which somebody a couple, two people said that they wanted to look at the shades, but they just so. weren't the right size. Some more shades, and then we have this is for a fireplace. We're not quite sure how many people would just have a fireplace in Florida, considering how hot it is here. But people do get adjusted to this temperature and like are wearing sweaters and full blown coats in the, in the winter season. Tell, which we could do. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad. We'd be able to fit that. It's flat enough, so. We're just posted here and see what happens. Because people have indoor fireplaces and stuff. Little, little bummed about the gazebo that we couldn't put that together. But I do have faith and I think we will get the bolts eventually, no matter what it takes, and then get that together and be able to sell that. We have heat. Our, um, these are like our little knickknacks. I'm saying like still. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. These are knickknacks, like our dollar, three dollar items, maybe five. 
There's some. Price is determined by attitude. Some blinds. That's true. And we have these pipes. We have a lot more of those, but we figured instead of abusing ourselves, we just put two out here. And if somebody's interested, we'll just let them know we have more inside. So, and then we have this cabinet, which has hidden doors. And this was uh, well, this was custom made, um, which could make it easier to sell or make it harder. That's a hit or miss. But there's hidden cabinets in here, which is super, super cool. So our friend Billy Marie told us that there's hidden cabinets, which there is, because they're not really that hidden, but, or I mean drawers, why am I saying cabinets? But you pull the first, the top first drawer, drawer out, and then there's and then like there's, a little tiny one. So I didn't notice that first time, but custom made, craft made kitchen counters like this are about $400. So we're looking to get half that or maybe a little less. Which, to be honest, this is usable in any situation. Like, if you put this in the house, it's just returned because it was the wrong size, yeah. Maybe they just didn't like it. Either way, that's, I would think that that would be an easy sell just because it is super nice and people are constantly remodeling and redoing their house around here, houses, so. But, like, there's a lot of contractors around here. We got a more tile, obviously. The shingles, I, I feel like, would go like this. What's it called? Cedar? Yeah. They're $100 each pack and online on Amazon. They're super cool. Same company, $100 a pack. So if someone could get those for $200 or $250, just go. All right, what's the boy going to buy today? Let's see, what are you looking at? I'm thinking this guy's more of a kind of a cool guy, odds and ends type. But who knows? Looking at the blinds. This is a Lincoln truck, guys, that this guy has. It's actually super sick. And he's super boss, like. He's so boss, but he didn't buy anything. I'm sad because this guy definitely has some cake to be spending. Yeah, he does. Look at his rims. Yeah. There's some other... Like eating with some nice rims. There's a couple others there. Yeah. Going for it. Look, he's looking at the tile. Look. Look, he's looking at... He's holding it. That's a sign. Nice. Look, he's showing it there. Like, yeah, check out this tile. This would be really good in our bathroom, in the outside bathroom. Or in the guest house. <laughs> Just four of those, right? It's paradise here. Pay to play, for sure. I guess, though, with the hurricanes. Yeah. No, no real. My dad's had this house for like 15 years and no substantial damage ever. So. Yeah, that's awesome. That I house mean, we bought is built 1960. So if you think about, it, that's a pretty good run, 1960 to 2020. Yeah. Because out in Jersey, where we live, I mean, it's the same thing, really. Like after Sandy, it was kind of like, well, this can happen here. Yeah. Yeah. So like, yeah. And inland, it's amazing how with these storms, it's just the way they seem to structure, inland flooding seems is bad. really yeah. bad. Yeah. Almost worse than... Well, where, That's where we live in, in New Jersey, it, it floods in our house way worse than on my mom's house, and she lives on the island, so you never... It's just wherever the house is, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I got those guys. 
So that's just the $60, yeah. $60, yeah, I don't know what we're looking. Is that a uh, shop back over there? Like yeah, but there's, if, if you don't have the battery, it's your full one. So if you're not set up for full of it's kind of But the tools aren't even that much. So yeah. like, they get you on that. Yeah. Yeah, you got some cool stuff here. It's a little stout on that because I've been renovating. That's what we were hoping for, people who, because I feel like people renovate their houses a lot around here, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But we bought a pallet of like, we bought 20 pallets of Lowe's like merchandise, so that's where all this came from. Really? Yeah. So it's, it's either it's, overstock, end of life, or some of it's returns. Because some of it they don't sell anymore, because we are trying to look up prices so we can base our price off of what they sell it for, but you can't even find any of it. Yeah, exactly. Put a hose. Get on hose. Get on hose. Kyle. Good luck with your sale. Are you going to be selling all weekend? Uh, we'll be here tomorrow for sure. Um, I'll tell the neighbors. Yeah, we're going to try and keep it out as long as it's not going to rain. It claims it's not going to rain for the next four or five days. So yeah. hopefully, yeah, hopefully we can just... we'll get some of that sea breeze stuff backing up or whatever. 65 is good for that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, Thank you. you. Sure thing. All right. Got the shelving unit in there. Oh, yeah. yeah, but it doesn't have, it's not complete, it's, it's pretty much a bummer. Those are shelves though, those two. Oh, okay. It's a pretty nice little car. It's a car, but it doesn't fold down. But, I mean, I'll sell that for five bucks if you're looking at it. But, we have a lot of blinds, I don't know if you were looking at any, like... I think I'm okay on blinds, yeah. I'm just looking at these. Those are like motorized uh, sunshades. Pretty cool. They're pretty crazy. I, uh... This tree. And then I'll come out. Welcome to the Suck and Sammy liquidation blowout sale. We have everything you could possibly want and more. Although we're not selling the kitties, they're for keeping. <laughs> we have a luscious array of thousands of square feet of tile. This delicious <laughs> backboard to the shower that nobody could ever use ever. Not to mention that it's broken too in the corner. So they just... <laughs> they just... <laughs> could you ever they use just it? throw people's trash. They just put trash in these yeah. things with the good stuff. Yeah, Alright, so... Actually, all that stuff's for sale. Nobody really saw that, but then again, those shovels are usable for me. That little thing is, this has got to go. Well, we could plug it in and see if it works. Because uh, that's pretty much like a $10 guy. But yes, we have a microwave. Uh, some bent, <laughs> some bent metal planters <laughs> that they just piled. <laughs> they just piled thousands of pounds of tile on top of in the truck. <laughs> I'm just messing around because literally there's so much good stuff that it's funny that they just put trash in. And like, if I was that company, I would do the same thing. So like, if you take the good stuff, you must take all. Big push, big push. Big push. <sighs> Unreal. That is the mood though. You're so <laughs> true. You're so true. All negotiable. We got some tile people looking at tile. Tile. My friends call me tile. You kind of have to just stand like this, like at these masters though, because the heat's so crazy. That's true. <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> these mosquitoes though. Woo. Hi. Hi. Alright, making a couple of sounds right now. Light. Whole stack of tile. 
And then this guy's buying some of the cedar. So that's pretty rad. Just made a hundred and sixty dollar sale. Pooping, chuching, fluffling. This thing will be filled by the end of today. All right, day's winding down. Pretty heavy to do a yard sale all day after surfing, but it's incredible how much stuff comes on these trucks because we sold so much stuff today and there's still so much left. So tomorrow, another full day yard sale day. Um, we'll probably add both of these videos together, but blow out as much as possible. This is how we got to do it. And we got to still just be selling stuff on Facebook until we leave. But I'm thinking probably, I'll probably round up the total from today. Not that we profited all that, but we sold over a thousand of stuff, which is pretty crazy. All right, so we just sold four packs of subway tile here. They were the six by four, I think, packs. And at, at the selling prices we've been going, we still have at least probably around $2,500 worth of tile, which is absolutely insane. What are you eating? I have no idea. I bought this from um, the little grocery store that's right here, and it was like in a foreign language. Should we check it out? Do you still have the paper in here? Yeah, I'm Wow, these are killer. Whatever it is. Uh, it's like spinach. And I didn't know I had cheese in it. Now I'm eating it, so. Oh, it's good. I'm gonna regret that later, but no. it's cool. Regrets. Okay, it is the next morning. We are going to be having a sale again, but first and foremost, we're going to be going to Walmart. I don't know how this road's super loud. We're going to be going to Walmart and hopefully picking up a counterfeit pen because we are suspicious that there's a possibility people may have been using counterfeit money. We don't know for sure at the yard sale. And we have no way to show other than the pen, even though the pen's not the sale for counterfeiting. But it will give us a good general idea about what's real and what's fake. So when people are dropping $100 bills, it's always good to have a backup plan. Because, well, mostly actually everyone that pulls in here, I film. So if anyone did use counterfeit money, I will have it on film. And today we are going to be... Just using that extra security measure. So that's what we got going on. But huge success yesterday overall. And today we're going for it again, round two. Stay tuned, big yard sale. So we still have most of the stuff out and we're gonna be bringing out a few more things. Okay, so this is a regular 20 and this is the 100 that we're suspicious of. And literally we're only suspicious of it probably because <laughs> It's an older bill, but we're gonna test this out here. So it's clearly real. Right. So that's real, and let's see, real. At the very least, it's printed on a real bill if it's fake. It's just an old hundred. So, at least we have these now for anyone that brings money here. Where's that other hundred there? I would just mark that too so then when. All right, looks like we got some customers out here. First of the day. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good.
Fearless one, yeah. yeah. It's I've just got too much of an investment. Which one do you got? Uh, I've got a 7D, I've got a 50. They're through the lens reflex, but I just can't switch over. I got too much in too Yeah, much no, money. I got you. Yeah. I actually bought this on the adapter. That's the the quality is not as good. Right. The advantage of that camera is for video. Yeah. I wish they had come out with a camera that kind of advanced their still photography. That is a big advancement on video, not so much. And actually, I primarily use it for video. Yeah, so. okay. And you're good. Yeah. But it is full frame for... for All right, he bought the two, two nozzles, the two hose nozzles. They're missing a piece each, but... He paid only a dollar for him, and then she's got a couple items. Looking at this shelf too. Making sales already. Yeah, I'll tell him. Thank you. And I'm taking the soaker. Okay, cool. All right, you all have a great day. Have a blessed day. Me too. Okay. Oh, that's the hose. So I'm making a few bucks on a couple of sales each person. Not bad. Too shabby, as my dad would say. On the littler items, though. Can't complain. Alright. So the sale is popping right now. Look at this. There's people coming out of the woodwork. Oh, man. They're not about to mess around here, but I am. Sammy J is making some sales, trying to anyway, but wow, it's heavy out here. Why why are these people not about the social distancing like I am? Yeah, I mean, it's so funny because people have the mask in their hands, but they're just like... They're not wearing them though. I know. This guy's about to buy some tile though. I would. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just rocking my hands. How are you, sir? Good? I'm, try I'm trying to figure out a way I can decorate my yard without having the weeds coming up all over the place. So put down some tile, you're thinking? I keep the weeds down. We can't go through it. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. How much of what do you sell a box of these for? Full, the full boxes are 20. How many in a box? Uh, 11 pieces. Look at that. Does it sound like that or is it totally different? Ones? Well, like those are those, and then the, the boxes of these are right here. Yeah. So there's one, two, there's three boxes of those. I don't know how many you wanted. Maybe just one box, right? I'm not sure. All right, so he bought these three boxes of tile, which is crazy. The tile's moving. But see, he's an older gentleman there and I'm gonna bring him over to his car because he doesn't want to go in the traffic he said. Why these? How much you want for the Just that stack? Well see I'm, I want to do a mosaic I want to crack them up and do a mosaic. Okay. So I want I, I want this. Those are just three dollars for the mosaics and then and then three for that stack so nine. Okay, so that's just a 10. Yeah, perfect. Alright, so she's doing a little mosaic, cracking them up and doing them. So she's just buying literally this stack. So that's how the tile goes. One piece or 1,000 pieces. Did it? Maybe he was with her. I think. Uh, oh, I For the same question. Yeah, probably. Oh. These mm -hmm. people are swamping in here. Another crew crew. Did you get change? I don't yeah. Yeah. Sorry. 
What's the best price on that vacuum there? 30. 30? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Take for all of it, and I'd buy it for what what that one item I needed was. But I wound up with a warehouse full of crap. <laughs> and I'm doing, I would did the same thing you're doing. Where is it now? You don't have it anymore? Yeah, it's up in Tennessee. Oh, okay. Still in a warehouse. It's full. Venetian blinds. I mean, you can't get rid of that stuff. Yard stuff. Uh, you just let it sit there. Well, I, I'm, I moved down here about five years ago, and, and I go back occasionally if I need something I'll bring it back down but it's been laying around for a long time but you can buy it for cheap and I don't need anything I just like to look as soon as I pull up I recognize the stuff <laughs> <laughs> so the homeboy brought us a freaking air conditioner and Turner left he gave this guy a ride but oh my god he's gonna be stoked yeah cool yeah I picked it up at a guy named crazy Johnny's warehouse so should have everything in there can I give you something for it like no, what no. when you ever get done let me know and I'll pick it up and I'll use it in the shipping container for sure I'm yeah. stoked about this thank you so yeah, much should have everything in here the hoses and all that stuff but tell him if he needs like any tools or anything to hook it up, just let me know. Oh I think my it's enough God. for at least to do like one and a half or two rooms or something, so should be good. See, this is good karma for you too. Like Well, yeah, whatever. He that's literally the good. nicest thing. Yeah. Thank you so much. Cool so the boy just left this air conditioner. We're gonna give it back to him uh after we're done here, so then he can use it for his crate that he's putting up. Which I'm so jealous of because I wish we could do that in our yard, but Turner's gonna be stoking about this because this is just a lifesaver. No air in Florida. Ain't had to do it. Cats are gonna be stoking too. Just came back and wow, wow, dude, no, you did it. Who buddy wants it? Who buddy wants it? Got this from. Oh, crazy Johnny. Sorry, guys. That's a liquidation god, this guy. I've yep. known about that for a while. But, uh, should we set it up? Yeah, so he said just use so it heavy. till we're done with it and then he'll use it for his crate. He's not really. We're just bringing this. The sea crate. Well, we can just take some of it out of here. Are you stoking? Okay? Yeah, we're just taking it. I think it was so hot in the house last night. Yeah, that's true. And then we'll just leave it all here. Yeah, this thing's pretty much brand new. It is brand new. It's liquidation stuff. Wow. Like what we got. That's true, that's true. Oh man, this thing's heavy. I have to get this one. Alright, there's some customers here, there's so we're gonna wait. Customers come and looking at the tile. Sissy, you excited about. Oh! She's stoking at Sissy Saturday and her friend brought her an air conditioner. What'd you say? Tell him, sis. Say thank you. Sissy, who bought you that? <laughs> River's stoking too. When's River's birthday present gonna come now? Mm -hmm. You won't tell me what it is, so. Well, you don't need to know. <gasps> I already know. She, it's a scratcher, is it? isn't it? <laughs> See? I know. She's been using the boxes over here. So, she's been using our boxes that we brought for shipping stuff. 
as a cat scratcher because she's all of our cats use the cat scratcher, but Woo Woo likes it the most because it makes her feel like a bad bitty, you know? Because she got them claws. She needs nails like a mama. Yeah. Sissy is really stoking and daddy's just sitting here. Basking. Yeah. Basking in Ruru's love. What, Sissy just chopped liver? She's smelling the earth. <laughs> Call with Godfather Paul, who's watching Lucky Girl and Landis. Look. Let's see Landa. Landis. Landis this is exactly where you'd expect. Dude, the <laughs> boy. Landis. Hi, baby. Hi, Lando. Can he hear me, Paul? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Landis. So what did he do, Paul? Not for my son, he says. Not for my son, so he's rubbing around my feet. <laughs> and so then I go over to his bed. Come on, buddy. Come on. His stocking yeah. still up. <laughs> his stocking still is up. And he just like, he's he's in the get, wants to get pet, he drools on my leg. <laughs> When you sometimes, sometimes when you video chat us, though, I can't tell who's who. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Today I'm wearing green, so it's a little easier. Landis, hi, baby. Look, he's giving me kisses. Hi, baby. All right, just wanted to do a quick update on the whole sale and everything. So we did do a yard sale yesterday, all day until like seven at night and sold whoo, a lot of stuff. So today, I know it looks like a beautiful day out right now, but about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half ago, we got rained out, it was pouring. So we brought everything inside, and then just now, five minutes ago, the guy who bought the tent, it was sitting right here, came back, paid for the rest of the tent, bought the tent, and then he bought one of these lights as well, because he's building a, um, like an outside patio bar thing. And he said it's all gonna be like wood, like a log cabin, and he's using the Allen and Roth lamp that was like mason jars for for that. So, yeah, successful. We sold, at this point I would say, probably just about half of everything. Half of the tile, half of what's inside. Uh, maybe even a little bit more than half. So. Yeah, we blew it out. We blew it out. It's pretty incredible, actually, how it all worked. So, very, very successful for the most part. Lots of work, but you got to work hard to get anything done in life. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the yard sale video. I'm going to just do two, two days in one video, and then it's possible we're going to set up again one last time because just to try and blow out the rest of this stuff because if you just put up the signs people just stop you know any day it is really here because I mean as you guys can hear the road here and see the road is just non-stop out front of here it's actually the perfect yard sale location but we're gonna just chill out for the rest of the day it's like 5 or 5 30 Maybe go check the beach out or something. But uh, yeah, the dream. All right, so we're winding down here to the end of the day. And so I'm just taking the time here before it gets pitch black out to just kind of post some of the items that didn't sell at the yard sale, even though we might have another yard sale. On Facebook Marketplace, I will say, out of all the selling platforms we've ever used, Facebook Marketplace has become, bar none, 
the most profitable and best and easiest place that we've been selling stuff uh, this year in the last two years, I guess. But so far this year, it's been popping. So this vanity here sells for about $60 at Lowe's. So I'm gonna put it up on Facebook Marketplace and ask 40 for it. Uh, it is brand new. Uh, so they can save 20 bucks. And I would suggest, I just posted too also a ceiling fan that's missing the glass. So I posted it for 65. It retails for like 150. Uh, it's missing the glass. I'm just hoping to get you know at least 50 for it because the glass was in there and it was shattered but the rest of the fan is good to go. Um, and that's what you'll get with these. But what I was saying is if you have a Facebook account, you're open to use Facebook Marketplace, anyone is. And it's a really, really good way to sell items, especially if you're starting out anything, a bicycle that you find on the road or have in your shed that you don't want anymore. Literally to almost anything you could sell books on there you could sell toys on there you could sell dvds on there you could sell anything anything you have lying around that you don't want the bigger the better because um, if you got something small you could sell it on other platforms also we've been just doing this out of this house we don't live here permanently and with the whole thing going around in the world right now it's kind of safer to just meet the people here because then we can mask up and kind of put gloves and a mask on to meet them. But uh, yeah, if you don't feel comfortable meeting at your house, you can just, you know, schedule, you know, to drive down right to the gas station or something and just meet them. So we went to a Walgreens and met someone for a tool the other day. And a lot of Harleys around here. And yeah, that turned out perfectly. I just literally rolled my window down and I had my mask on and I just handed it to him and my gloves and I just grabbed the money, threw hit the window to his window and it was smooth. So something like that could work for you too. But uh, yeah, just wanted to end off the video saying we did great. We, you know, sold, I don't know, almost $2,000 worth of stuff in two days, which is absolutely absurd. And we're gonna just keep pushing it. We got a bunch more stuff to sell and we're here for another at least week if not maybe a month i don't know how long we're gonna stay but hope you guys enjoyed the video we will see you tomorrow keep pushing everyone the dream is real all right at the very end i just want to add a lot of people ask me and sammy questions about reselling and how we do it and what we do and to be honest we're not really even professionals at anything we just go for it and anybody can do this anybody who wants to work hard and isn't willing to get you know sweaty and lift heavy stuff which is a lot of people in the world and you don't even have to sell big items but anybody can do this you can start small or you can start big or you could literally just go out on trash day and pick 10 items out of the trash list those and see what happens so if you've ever been thinking about you know selling stuff like how we do or how other people on youtube do or other people you know do try it just try it the only thing, the thing is, life is all about failing. You know, fail, 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 succeed. You know, failure is success in that way because the more times you fail, that's just the more times you went for it. Don't be afraid to fail, and that's the worst that could happen, you mean, you know? In the end, it is just material. Just wanted to say that anybody can do it. Make it happen.